Hey guys, this is out of Massachusetts, my home state. So if you could share, get the information out, go on Facebook and put in the search Harry Lowell missing and you'll see it. But there are about 200 people searching right now. You'll see that in the news clip that's coming up. This little boy, Harry, was dropped off by his parents to his babysitter at 7 a.m. Around 9.15, the neighbor said he saw him in the backyard. Now, if you look here at the yard, you'll see that there's no fence. There is a fence for the pool, but he could have easily walked away. And in the next photo, you're going to see that, you know, there are there's a lot around that he could have gotten into. There's a pond there. They do have divers out right now. There's also this big area, the state forest, which... If he have gotten that far within the 15 minute response time, I don't know, but I'm going to put the contact information here at the end of the video. Erica, we are on Frida Lane, and this is the street where the child's babysitter lives, and police say there was a 15-minute window between the time when three-year-old Harry was last seen and when he was reported missing, and a massive search has been going on here all day. He's active. Usually, like, he likes going out uh, outside, like, when he's at home. That is the voice of a father desperate to find his son. He goes to the yard and plays. He's a healthy kid, but he can't speak. He has a, he's trying to learn how to speak, but he can't talk. According to Lowell Police, three-year-old Harry was dropped off at his babysitter's house on Frida Lane in Lowell around 7.15 this morning. Then, at 9.15, a neighbor saw Harry in the backyard. 15 minutes later, the boy was gone. And about 9.30 this morning, the Lowell Police Department received a call regarding a missing or lost child. And ever since that time, the Lowell Police Department has been searching and looking for the child. All day, they've been searching by air. The state police air wing, also by drone. A dive team searching by mountain bike, by horseback, by canine, by foot, by cadet. More than 150 police officers, firefighters, and even neighbors joining in the search. You hear something like this, you gotta get involved. You can't just not, you know, you have to get involved. And during the press conference here this afternoon, police were asking residents here in the Pawtucketville neighborhood of Lowell to do something when they get home from work, and that is to check their property for any signs of the missing boy, just in case. As we have been reporting, this has been an exhaustive search, an extensive search. All the backyards have been searched, but police want the neighbors, the residents to do it again, just in case. The search continues. Reporting live in Lowell, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.